Hello again and welcome back to the Eon Drive Tournament. My name again is Warning Track and I'm joined again by Markinator99. Are you on Team Eon or Team Aeon, by the way, Mark? Uh, I thought it was Eon, but I, I could see it either way, to be honest. I was kind of wondering that before today started. I, I mean, I'm the same. I'm on the same team, but I just I want chat to fight about it. That's what yeah. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stir up a little bit of trouble here. Uh, speaking of Yabble, Vegan Tyler, looking like a really good match. Both of them uh, had no shows in their uh, round of 64, so they both automatically move on to the round of 32. But it means we got a little look at them in their little exhibitions, their little warm-ups, and they both looked quite, quite good. I'd say Vegan Tyler maybe looked a little better, but it's really hard to judge based on something like that. Either way, I'm, I'm very excited to see what these two can do. They have a full 30 minutes. That is the format, I'll remind you. They have 30 minutes with unlimited resets to grind for the best possible time they can for a given level. I believe this is 1-4. And the best time wins, and that's it. So they're going to die a lot, but it's all in service of that perfect time. Yeah, and, and, and 30 minutes is, is not a ton of time, but it is going to be a lot of chances for these runners to get you know as quick times as they possibly can you know that's hundreds of attempts so plenty of time to get some stuff in hundreds and Tyler already has his yep. first one yeah he's already done once and that's part of it right because you have all this time you can go through the entire the entire sector take your time get the lay of the land figure out what you want to do try a few things or you can just try to grind the beginning of it and, and try to get those mechanics down but both both runners you can see at this point opting to sort of take a look at the whole stage first what i'm going to be interested in is when they make that switch when they say okay i have a rough idea of what i want to do i'm going to start trying to do it but right now this is all fact finding yeah exactly yeah and there's a um, the spikes on on these stages here can be extremely brutal i mean the hitboxes um i, I don't want to say they like you know cheat out or anything like that but i mean if, if you get <laughs> anywhere close to touching them they will they will get you so oh yeah i don't, I don't think it's maneuvering. cheating at all i mean it's like we mentioned earlier with the controls being more precise here and it catching people off guard i think it's the same thing it's that most games are very forgiving about that sort of thing you kind of hit something and it gives you a little bit of a fudge factor so uh you know it's a little yeah. more fun not to hit spikes but in this game if you hit them you hit them yeah, precisely. Yeah, it's not um, it's not being generous to you, but it's also very fair. You know, it's very consistent, so it's very really nice and fun that way. But these spikes right here at the very top, um, I'm not sure if you can actually hit them from the side or another. But I do know um, when you're throwing your teleportation device, you do um, have to lean left or right on the stick. You know, depending on where you're going, and it is very easy to you know move forward into something that will kill you just trying to throw your teleportation device. Right, right, yeah, you throw that dagger and it's gonna do exactly what you tell it to. Uh, no more, no less. It's not gonna hold your hand through it, uh, but you know, once you realize that, once you realize that you can just tell it exactly what you want and oh my God, it's actually gonna do exactly what I want, exactly what I press, uh, then it gets uh, a lot more straightforward. Not easy, straightforward. Um, especially not easy when you get to 1-4 here. 1-1, one, one, eh, not bad. You can ease into this game if you want to, but if you wanna go deep, if you wanna go try to hit that high skill ceiling, it's, uh, it's pretty high. Yeah, precisely. Okay, so 10 seconds, I believe, I wonder if we're going to see something below 10 seconds um, by the end of this. We probably will. Um, I think Tyler yeah. just got another, I, th I think he just beat that time. Yep, there he goes. Okay. So, inching it down, inching it down. Okay, the top time in the last match we saw was a little under 7 seconds. That was a very short one. Um, this one looks a lot longer, but there's a lot of wide open spaces to throw that dagger that pull you across really quick. So even though in terms of like pixels, you know, distance, it looks much bigger, in terms of time it only plays out with a few extra seconds because you can take those big leaps forward with the transportation dagger. Yeah, a lot more gap movement involved. Yes, yeah. Fewer fewer things blocking your movement, frankly. A little more a little more freedom to roam. And yeah, I, I learned the uh, the previous match already when I thought uh, I thought six nine was gonna get it done and it ended up being six seven or six six by the end. Yeah, never ever ever predict a speed run cannot be beat, especially this early. I think I will I might take the under on nine, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> mate, possibly, possibly. Yeah, it's nuts. I am seeing, you know, a few slowdowns, a few mistakes here and there. I mean, just like, you know, getting caught on, on corners, um, you know, having to take an extra jump or something like, you know, very slight things that, you know, maybe not the average viewer would catch, but definitely slowdowns that can be um, time saved. 
Yeah, places for optimization still exist all throughout this run, even though 10, 10, 11 seconds seems really good. I'd be thrilled with it if it were me, but I think if you're Vegan Tyler, you're thinking, no, I, I there's a half dozen things I can do better already. I can get this a couple seconds lower. And then all you need to know is maybe look at that leaderboard. Yeah, there they go. Tyler right on cue. See how Yabble's doing. Do I need to get it that low? Should I try to grind this? Should I try to shave seconds off this same run? Or do I want to experiment with something, a different path maybe? Through the through the stage. Yeah, precisely, precisely. Yeah, we were talking at the very beginning. You know, these runners probably do have paths already set up, and it wouldn't surprise me if both runners, you know, had like a more easy path to try at first, uh, and then more difficult. Maybe maybe a more easy one for the ten minute rounds, uh, but for the thirty minute round, we, we might not see that as much. Yeah, probably, probably not. We might have a you know dead run set in mind that's really complicated and tricky, and they just try to optimize as much as they can. Yabble has uh, bumped down below 12, and uh, now within a second of Vegan Tyler. 11 and a half to about 10 and a half. But it's still yeah. very early. We're only five minutes into a 30 minute grind period. Yeah, precisely. I don't think uh, Yabble's looked at the leaderboard yet, so I'm not sure if he knows that he is about a second behind. Well, that's a good question, right? What's their sense about this? Maybe maybe Apple's thinking, you know what? I've made enough mistakes. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not ahead. Uh, maybe maybe they were watching. I would be if I were them, watching Vegan Tyler uh, in the warm-ups and thinking, okay, I'm not even going to look, maybe, for the first 10 minutes. Nope, there it is. There's the... No, no, no. Canceled it. Not interested. I, I think that's a pretty decent strategy to have a certain number of minutes that you just decide up front. You know, I have to make a lot of decisions in the moment. I'm going to uh, get decision fatigue after a while. I want to decide, here's how many minutes I'm just going to try to grind it, and then I'm going to look and see where I am. There's Vegan Tyler looking and seeing where he is, and they're checking, and you see the, this is when it's happening. They tend to check after a particularly good time, and that's what happened here. I think that's a new low. 9-8, was it? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, that first sub-10 minute time, oh, you, you, you see him at the very end. If you hold right there, um, when you attach to a wall, um, you lose a little bit of time versus just dropping straight down. So it's those kind of mistakes that I'm looking for and, and what Tyler's looking to, to minimize. Just those ever so slight, you know, wall grabs, maybe corner touches that, you know, kind of bump you, don't let you keep going forward. Oh no, what a oh. clean run. And just that, very, that's what I'm talking about. The very end, that one, you know, last input just didn't quite go right. Oh, and then immediately into the spikes in the next one. Maybe just, just a little rattled there, a little frustrated because I think they knew that was a good run too. Yeah. Yeah, that is the thing too. You know it. Like you know what's going on on the screen. You know what's happening. All the mind games are being played, just like we're doing, commentating. These runners are kind of thinking. They're going through. So there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, and at the end though, I think at that point, you know the difference between a good run and a bad run. Maybe you know the difference between a good run and a great run. But the difference between a 10-4 and a 9-8, mm, you have a you have a sense that maybe you're in range, let's say. But beyond that, it's it's really hard to tell the difference. But I think Tyler knew at least this potentially is a better run than my 9-8. Uh, so when they hit the spikes at the end, I think they knew they, they lost a chance to, to lower that time. But there's still a lot of time left. It's only been a little over 7 minutes, and we're already sub-10 seconds for Tyler. Yabble's been stuck at 11 and a half uh, for a couple of minutes now, though. But again, very, very early. And it looks like they're taking a different path. Like, they're going over that kind of thing at the end there, uh, over that big block over the end, rather than before it. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's uh, saving time or if it's, you know, losing time or, or what. I'm not, not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe they like the falling a little better, might think it's a little quicker, or they also might think early on, you know, even if it doesn't necessarily save time, maybe less likely to make a mistake at the end, because that's exactly what happened to Tyler when they hit those spikes. That is very true, and, and, I, and I'm thinking, looking at Tyler, you know, he's able to do this, like, quick downward um, movement to to kind of throw his, his dagger at the last um, wall here. Like, just like, there, he, like, fell really fast, and I think he's gaining some time while doing that. Definitely, definitely. So it might be less about speed. The The best run might not be taking the route that Diablo's taking, but it's a little safer to try to establish a time initially while you're still getting set up. But but I think, you know, after the first few minutes even, even when you're just around 20, 25 minutes, even when you have most of your time left, I think at that point you already want to be having goals, you know, a, a mapped out route that you want to take rather than something maybe a little safe to, to establish an initial time and see where you're at. Because, like, Yabble is still doing that. They're still going over. And by not throwing that transportation... Uh, no, no, no one's got in my head. <laughs> transportation dagger. Uh, the teleportation dagger at the ground. You're right. They're probably losing a solid second or two. Piece of cake. Yeah. So crazy how, you know, these, these small differences that we're pointing out. I mean, I, I think is the time difference. Like, 
Yabble's gonna have to, to really pick it up. I think I think Vegan Tyler, he, he kind of has a very optimal time already. I mean, look at this time, like 9.36, I believe that says. Like, yeah. That is a second and a half. That's pretty big. It's pretty big this early with 20 plus minutes left. Uh, that could be a very hard time to beat. And I'm, we're watching that, and that looks like a near perfect run there from Tyler. I just don't know how you beat it. I just don't know how you yeah. beat it. I mean, yeah. I say that, but we know they're going to find a way. We know that if we gave them a <laughs> few weeks, they would get it down to seven or something that seems impossible, possibly. But but right now, when you're watching the run, you just you don't see... Well, certainly no mistakes is the thing. First things first, no obvious mistakes. Then you get down to those things you talked about, those little imperfections that are not mistakes, but if you add five or six of them up, you got yourself another half a second. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, consistency is king. And then preciseness is the uh, is the optimizer there. Yeah, an underrated part of this, and um, you know, Opie, Opie in chat pointing out quite uh, quite uh, quite astutely, it's not just that Tyler's got the lower time; it's that he's getting below 10 seconds in almost every one of these runs now. Like he's got the basics down, and that's when you start shaving time off. Yeah, yeah, that's where those extra few decimals come into play. You got you got all those attempts to actually get it. You know, you, you can get to the end and, and it be like pretty much perfect and everything, but if you're not consistently doing that, those those last few decimals will probably go to the player who, who does have the time, who has been getting all those consistency, has had those attempts. Yeah, vegan Tyler, hey, eat your vegetables, kids. It pays off. I'm, I'm reconsidering <laughs> kale myself seeing these results. Yeah. Oh, you saw Yabble there. Oh my gosh, caught, got caught on the wall. Yep. He had a really precise movement up those stairs. Throw in the teleportation dagger, like right at that little the little bump. Maybe he'll do it here again, but I haven't seen that. Maybe I've just been missing it. But I think I think you're right. He's Tyler's getting over the first doing. couple moves a little quicker than Tyler. Actually, I think it's the rest of the run that's been giving him. Yes, yeah, he look at that. He just didn't get up those stairs quick enough, and he's like, nope, nope. But he, there's a couple little areas where I think he's getting out just a little quicker, and that's what we, we, we're, I think we need to be looking for right now. Of course, is differences between these two because he can't just match Vegan Tyler. He's not going to do what Vegan Tyler's doing much faster. There needs to be some area where he's gaining a little something. And there it is. By the way, he hit the spikes there, Yabel did, but he did that maneuver where he shot the dagger straight down to try to save time. He's kind of on to that now. I think he's starting to tighten this run up and take more chances possibly after seeing the deficit in front of him yeah absolutely yeah and knowing that he still has a lot of time as well you know it definitely has the time to play with it's not like he's he's scrambling as of yet no not at all this is starting to feel a little more calculated too um just very iterative as we mentioned the quick reset time there's a three second countdown on there but it's really more like one second it goes faster and the level load times are so quick everything everything about this game built for the speed run don't have to wait to get back into it. Take whatever you just learned. Take the mistake you just made and come right back. And that really lends itself well to this format. There's another death from Yabble, and they're just having a little trouble getting over that enemy there. Probably trying to get over them. Don't want to use the powers of sword. Even though you can do the sword cancel, you don't want to waste that time if you don't have to. But we're seeing Yabble speed up in a way we did not see at all in the first 10 minutes or so. And it makes me think this match is not over. No, precisely. Yeah, I think he, he's got a lot left in him. I think you can see. Maybe just some nerves were getting to him, you know, first match. Um, like we were saying, this is the round of 32, but both runners did get um, kind of like a buy in the first round. Neither one of their opponents showed up, uh, which with a 64 people tournament does happen. Uh, it's just unfortunate, but you know, so maybe he's still trying to get over those initial nerves. And now we're seeing the, the more consistent gameplay once he's got some stuff under his belt. Yeah, absolutely. They got that little warm-up period. There's Tyler with a pretty good run, ruined again, hitting their uh, head on that platform and going right down into the spikes. And yeah, w w for me, the story of this is Tyler came out swinging, but Yabble a little slow, but has tightened up. And again, they might have had it in their head. The first 10 minutes, I'm just not going to try that hard. I'm going to just familiarize myself. It's very unlikely I'm going to set my best time in the first 10 minutes, no matter what else happens. So I'm just going to take that time, and then I'm going to start tightening. I'm going to start trying stuff. And that certainly seems to have been the case here. And when they start to have a good run, that first half we're seeing from Yabble sometimes is almost flawless. I would say a little faster than Tyler even. It's just the second half that's been tripping them up. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. And, and that actually is probably a good thing for Yabble. Because if he can get to the end on pace, you know, it will be ahead of um, Vegan Tyler's pace. So if he can just clutch out the ending, it's really yep. all he, he needs. 
Yeah, and also makes me wonder, I alluded earlier, that everyone learns a little differently, right? Maybe with Yabo, it's all about familiarity. Maybe they're killing the first half because that's the part they've seen the most, and they just need a little more exposure to that second half of the sector to kind of put up the same speeds in that back half that they have in the first half and get that sub-10 that they are right now very close to. Of course, once they get that sub-10, they could have another half-second waiting for them uh, in deficit between Big and Tyler. He's been sitting at 936 for quite a while now, and we are almost halfway done. Yeah, it does seem to be like a really optimal time um, that Tyler himself is having trouble uh, matching here. Uh, I've, I've seen, I keep saying it, I've seen Yabble get to the end here, so... I, I just really wanted to see him put up a sub-10 time and then like them being really close together. Yeah. Because you can see it. I mean, if, if you watch Yabble here for a minute, um, you, you can just you can just see that. He, he's on it right here. Boom. He's, he's looking to hit the bottom of that little... Um, that little notch at the very top of the wall there because he's done it a couple times if, if nobody's been watching and it is super quick to get up those stairs and he's definitely saving time yeah i think he's got a close to a half second or maybe a third of a second on tyler consistently in the first like five or six moves i, I he's just flying through the beginning of that every time right now and he's just a little rough around the edge is that a new low it is 10 15 still not broken 10 though no, I think they're still around the same. I just, I think that's going to be a big morale boost when they break 10. I think that, because then we're going to be within like roughly a half a second. And they've been trying this whole time. There's 14, almost 15 minutes left. Haven't quite broken 10. And I think Tyler broke it, what, five minutes in? Yeah, it was very, it was very quick. He he definitely looked um, like he, he was the man with the plan. But he hasn't really been doing doing too much here uh, as far as, as besting himself. I haven't seen really any new tricks that are, you know, he's definitely grinding out and whatnot. It's interesting. He, he's shooting into the floor right past the laser barrier rather than to the far wall, even though that's what it seems like it's for. I wonder if this is experimentation because, as you were just mentioning, you know, he hasn't been changing too much. He certainly hasn't tried anything wild. It looks like he's trying some tiny things. You see right there, that little maneuver where it goes into the floor, past the laser, rather than the far wall. I don't think that's quicker, but I think maybe Tyler has decided that 936, that's pretty much close to the best version of what I'm trying to do. So now I should try to do something a little different. And there it is. I think we're sub-10 there. I think that's yeah. sub-10 for Yabble. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite catch the time. Both runners checking the leaderboard at the exact same time. Yeah, 972, I think. You're right. And it happened just as Tyler was checking it, too. And look at that. There it is. Perfect. Less than a fourth of a second. Sorry, I'll reduce my fractions. Less than two-fifths of a second, my fifth-grade math teacher would prefer <laughs> I say. Thank you, Mr. Strolka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, getting real close. Getting really close. And this is what I was talking about earlier, right? You get two runners, and I think we'll see this a lot at the end of this tournament. Um, for those watching and want to come back, uh, we're we're gonna see like tight, tight like frames. We're looking to save. Um, we're already, yeah, like you said, like 0.4 seconds, um, which is not that many frames if we're being honest. No, no, it's really not. And I'm seeing Yabble, by the way, at the end. The end of their run is looking more and more like Tyler's now. They're doing the same maneuvers and they're doing about as quick. I feel like what we're seeing is with Tyler, we're seeing a lot more discipline and a lot more consistency. But with Yabble, we're seeing more variation and a little more raw speed. They just need to harness it all into one perfect run. Yeah, I definitely agree. Okay, doing um, something different. Yeah. Mm, yeah we'll I mean... For a first run, it's only a couple seconds behind the pace. That's a little promising, I guess. I'm a little skeptical that that's going to end up being faster, but we won't know after just one run. Yeah, that was a, definitely a different strategy. Didn't... Hmm, okay, interesting. I can see the route, though. I can see how it could get about as close. And again, these are handcrafted, so they're probably designed for multiple routes to make some kind of sense and to be at least superficially similar in speed. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, it's not like a normal game where you know people will, will try to find the fastest routes. It's not made for speed, so it, maybe it's a little more obvious. But with with this game, especially like you know, made for speed running, uh, made to be you know really tight, multiple options, different skill levels of different tricks for the different routes. I mean, yeah, like options, options, options. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, they both have been trying this new route. Yabble kind of back uh, back to the bottom there, trying to just grind out that original route after a couple of uh, misadventures up top. I still think there's some potential there, and Tyler thinks so too. Tyler is trying up top and suffering the same fate, trying to jump past those spikes or just before them and not quite hitting it. But Ooh. with 11 minutes left, here's the chance. Yeah. Yabble, that was insane. What's the time Whoa. on that one? 
Let's see. Let's see. Do we have a new leader? I didn't. I didn't quite catch it. It was definitely it was under ten. I don't think it was enough to beat Tyler. Yeah, it's point seven two. There it is. Inching closer. Or no, I'm there sorry, not point seven two. There's the there update. Point oh, four and five. <laughs> Point oh nine seconds, and if you're Yobble and you saw that leaderboard, I think you're thinking, you know what? I can do this. I can shave tenth of a second off. And if you remember, now memory comes into it. If you remember, every other time you've checked in the last 15 minutes, it's still been 936. Tyler has not been shaving off that. So you really don't need to do much better now to swing this outcome in the last 10 minutes, and there are about 10 minutes left. Yeah, precisely. And you saw Tyler right there, checked the leaderboard, saw that he was right behind him, kind of made a face. He's like, oh, I gotta I gotta keep going. Oh, no. Satchel Page yeah. once said that you should never look behind you because they might be gaining, and that is exactly what's happening now. That is true. That is true. I don't know. Maybe maybe Tyler... I don't know if he's actually been, like, really trying to grind out for, like, a really much better time. He had such a, you know, decent lead for a while. Maybe maybe this is putting the pressure on him now. Yeah. Well, that's the, f that's the peril of the format. You know, if you start strong, that's great, but it doesn't matter. Only your best run matters. All the rest you can throw out. Yeah, precisely. Oh, how close is this one? Yabble's going to wait around and see. I could not make out the clock in time, but they are getting. They, Yabble is getting more consistent, too. Look at them fly through the first few moves, too. Yeah. It's just so much faster. Yeah, this is what we were talking about at the very beginning. You know, he was looking a little rough, just needed to get it out of the way. But once you got it down, I mean, you just, you just like, go one after another. Like, boom, 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 boom. All the movement clicks together in one nice... It just comes together in one nice run, and it's very smooth. It's the fun thing about the format. It'll be a little weird, a little dull sometimes for little periods of time. No one will, you know, no one will up their score or anything like that. But then it all, like you said, it all comes together. Everything clicks at once. Wow. Ooh, okay. It was lagging, so I couldn't tell. Yep. That was going to be very close, I think. I think if they hit that maneuver, they are, I don't know if it's, you can't tell the difference between a tenth of a second with the eyeball test. You just can't. But it was in range. Let's put it that way. Yep. Yeah, oh, the internet connection here from Yabble is making it a little hard to really tell exactly what's happening, but uh, he's he's getting to the end. He's getting to the end all pace it looks like, and and it's gonna be, and it's gonna be a nail biter to the end. Yeah, he is a uh, nail biter, no pun intended. Keeps hitting those spikes at the end too, and oh boy, it finally got over them. How close are we? Oh man, it, they are they are consistently hitting clean runs now more and more often, and when they don't, they're getting to the very, very end, and the beginning just seems like they've got it completely down. Nope, missed a couple jumps there, but they're going to keep doing it so they get the practice through to the end. I think that's smart at this point still. Don't need to reset right away. You're just going to spend four or five more seconds, and you'll get another shot at that problematic end area uh, that's been bedeviling Yabu. Yeah, it's just, it's just so tight. It's It really is just so tight. Trying to save... You know, fractions of the fraction of a second. It's, it's hard. It's rough. It's a rough life being a speedrunner. <laughs> it's, a t it's a tough life. Yeah, blisters all over your fingers. Yes. Oh, boy. I think Tyler, maybe... I don't want to say desperate, right? But, like, they haven't lowered that time in a very long time. And I think that's why they're still experimenting up top here. Yeah, just trying to find anything to, to gain those last milliseconds. Yep, but yeah, I mean, we said it earlier, We, you know, the run that he got this 9.36 on, I mean, it looked super clean. It didn't really look like he could save any more time. So it makes sense that he's kind of doing some other things, maybe seeing that, you know, save a little bit time here, a little bit of time here. Um, but um, I'm not I'm not sure if it's really going to work out. I think he, he might he might just really need to have this time hold out. Doesn't look like anything he's doing seems to be much faster. Yeah, I think both of them have the right idea, though. Tyler's trying new routes just in case he strikes upon something, and Yabble's saying, no, I, this route will work. I just need to be very, very slightly better. That one yeah. was so quick. That was so quick. We're, we're, like, consistently, we're getting a lot of nines from Yabble or a lot of low tens, or a lot of things that look like they could be a good run, but then the spikes get us at the end. It's the same spikes. And that jump, that jump right there between the teeth, basically. That's what I'm going to choose to call them, the two rows, the teeth. Mm -hmm. That, they've been starting to miss that just a little bit. They were, had, had it really down, they were looking really smooth, but as they've been focusing more and more on the end game, they're starting to miss that, that middle stuff a little more often. Piece of cake. Yeah, it's... I'm not sure what we could say more at this point. I'm just really, I'm just really hyped and want to see it. That looked really clean. Oh, that was very close. How close are we? I don't think they quite got it, but that was another sub-10. They 
Yeah, I don't know. They they might have. He had 21 seconds left on the clock. 21 something. Isn't that eight seconds? And something. I, th I thought it might have been. Something? I thought it was 20. I thought I thought he was still over nine. I'm not sure though. Or maybe it was. I thought I saw 21. Perhaps. Yeah. There's a little mistaken. pixelation on our end again. You mentioned the internet connection just a little off, but and and, and, and it matters, right? Because look at the deficit here. It's less than a tenth of a second. Oh, vegan Tyler with a new low breaks nine. Uh, oh. Eight, nine, seven. With the top route, the gamble, the secondary strategy of moving to the top and focusing on that pays off huge. Incredible. Incredible. He was able to find exactly what he was looking for, what we were talking about. Oh, and if you're Yobble, when you, next time you see this leaderboard, crestfallen. Yeah, oh, for real. For real. Yeah, he, he gets he gets those last, like, 0.2 seconds he's looking for, he looks at the time. Yeah. Oh, no. But he probably should know that because he he probably has in his head, okay, can I actually shave a half second off what I'm doing? I think maybe just barely. I think sub nine is possible with the lower route, but it might be harder. And here's the problem. You can't switch back to the top right, I don't think, with five minutes left and expect to get to iterate that to the point where you can match this score. It, if, if, if this score holds up, Tyler's strategic decision to spend the rest of their time, and I think around the 10 or 12 minute mark on the top route instead, will have been the reason why. Yeah. Oh, I, I I totally agree. I totally agree. Vegan Tyler is is, is killing it. it. With two different routes, is able to get incredible times, and you know y Yabble's like right on his tail, but yeah. I think Tyler's just the raw skill that he's displayed so far is is just hard to beat. Raw vegetables equals raw skill. You heard it here first. Yes, that is what Vegan Tyler is teaching yeah. us. So we kind of joked earlier, like, well, hey, it doesn't really matter if you start off great because the last run's the one that matters. So who cares if you get your 936 in the first five minutes? On the other hand, it does free you up after a while to try other things. And in this case, that might be the difference in the match. Yeah, and, and definitely with the mental games we were talking about earlier, just relieving that stress, having that time, you know, being like, okay, I know this trick is like super hard and I'm probably not going to get it, but like, 10, 20 percent of the time, Check this but out, it's right going to save that extra bit of time, and I've got 20 minutes to work with it. You know, oh, having yeah. that in your head, I, I believe, can really save some time. And that was super clean from being Tyler. Not, not going to beat his time here, but no, but 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 nine six basically. I want to see this top route again. So you remember they were dying just past that first little like log over there. Instead, he shoots over it right there, right there. To, to, to snag onto that platform, that was the key, I think, that actually opened it up for him. Because they were both struggling with that on the top route for a little while. while. Yabble gave up on it, Tyler kept grinding it, and found that little dagger maneuver. Because they were having trouble either not getting far enough or going too far onto the spikes. But that extra little dagger throw seems to have made the difference. Right there. Look. Oh, he missed it that time. If he misses it, he can keep going, though. Uh, but when he hits it, that's when he gets the really fast runs. Yeah, and like we were saying earlier, dude, Yabble just got his... Oh. his Right low, it's like really low nine, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Point oh, oh my eight. goodness. Is that what it is? Yes, yes, point oh eight seconds. It's actually got closer. It was, the deficit was point oh nine for like 10 minutes, and now they both get lower, and it turns out it's only gotten point oh one closer for Yobble. I think Yobble could still save it, though. Like, when you think about how little you need to improve your efficiency for that, uh, you've got to imagine it's possible even if it looks perfect, but but you just have to have very close to a perfect run and you have under three minutes to get it. And that's if Vegan Tyler does not improve again. Yeah, ex yeah, if he doesn't do it again, exactly. Piece of cake. Wow. I mean, he might not. Uh, there's a lot to do and he's only spent, remember, about half his time on the top route and uh, diminishing returns there, certainly. You've only got a few minutes left and Yabble, I, they're committed now. You have to stay with the bottom route. You've been focusing on it. You can't switch this late. You need to just do the perfect bottom run to shave those last 0.08 seconds off. And that's not going to do it right there. Any mistake at all, you got to restart. Yep. Not I'm even any mistake, just anything that's not perfect. Yeah, precisely. And you've got to know that he's got like a couple things in mind that he knows that he can be better and actually get this last time. Coming down to two minutes at the very end here. Didn't even break a sweat. Oh my gosh, it's, it's going to be close. Yabble could actually take this at any moment. Oh, but getting caught, that looked good so close but you know you're gonna see more mistakes now specifically because they can't afford to do pretty good they're gonna try the toughest move the toughest shot they're gonna take the corners as tight as possible now because that's the only way to win so paradoxically even though they're getting better you're actually gonna see more mistakes now because they have no more margin they need to nail the perfect maneuver every time yeah that's a good that's a good point out yeah we're gonna be seeing more mistakes <laughs> as, as it goes on and they get better I mean because because a run that gets you almost as fast is worthless 
The only exactly. it's only worth taking the big swings now. It's all big swings, and big swings mean big misses. Yeah, that is the name of the game. Saving every single bit of time, no stop, bringing everything to the table. That's and the name one of the game. One ten on the clock. Chat, what do you think the name of the game is? A on drive or E on drive? Place your bet. Start <laughs> arguing. Speaking of names. Good work, Jack. Yeah, there we go. All right, oh man, this is minute. this is kind of. I mean, if it holds up, this is almost heartbreaking because the story is Yabel just grinding the time and getting so much better, so much faster, and then in the end, Vegan Tyler's maneuver to go up top just saves it. This is what a match. Look at this. There's one minute left. Remember, it only takes. You got a time for a few more runs each year. It only takes one to swing the outcome. Yeah, precisely. And you see it here too. Yeah, Yabel taking that reset, not not continuing anything. Made that slight mistake. And that oh, looks, so that looks close. super clean, but that's not enough. There was one little double jump, and that might have been the difference. Yabel has not led, I don't think, at any point in this match. But if they can do it here in the last 20 seconds, they can take this home. It's .08 seconds is the difference. They need a perfect run. Anything else, there will not be time. That death is going to do it. It's not going to be possible now because the game will have started before the 9 seconds. Vegan Tyler is going to take this home with an 8.97 to Yabel's 9.05. What a match. That was, yeah, absolutely insane. And there it is. The clock ticks to zero. Yabel yeah, finishing that run, but like you said, not wasn't good enough, but also ran out of time beforehand. So oh, GG's to both runners. It was an incredible match. Absolutely was. 30 minutes of absolute, you know, domination by Tyler, unfortunately. But Yabel yeah, kept it close and gave us an amazing, amazing show there. Yeah, if you told me about halfway through that Yabel's going to end up with a 9.05, I'd say that's probably your winner then. But Tyler, getting that early 9.36, being convinced that they weren't going to improve on it, allowed them to explore other routes and eventually got just efficient enough to break 9. And that's a huge win for Vegan Tyler and a really unfortunate loss for Yabel, who I, I feel really sad that they have to leave the tournament this early because I think they might have just, we said this earlier against Grandius, just drawn a really tough opponent. Yeah, and, th and that's what happens. This is tournament bracket in general. Um, best way to avoid it is to get a better seating. And so <laughs> it is what it that is. That was so close. That was so close. Yeah. Oh, we hear, we hear Vegan Tyler on the, on the Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You see it on the leaderboard here. 0 0.08 seconds one more time. Sub 9 from Tyler. That was the difference maker. Oh, my God. That was so close. Did you see how close but they got? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to end it right here. Uh, not much more to say. We have Great another job. match. Uh, we are doing things in, in little blocks here. Uh, we are doing two top 64 Good matches, job. and then uh, the winners of those will play uh, each other in the top 32. So this was the top 32 match. We had 30 minutes to work with. Um, the next one will be uh, Anori. I'm going to just call him Anori. I can't pronounce the rest of it. Be Anori <laughs> versus Gil for... And One of those is way awesome. easier to say than the other. Yes, yeah. <laughs> way easier. <laughs> it's way better. So we're going to take a, a short break here. Uh, once again, congratulations to Vegan Tyler and Yabble for putting on an amazing show. But we're going to take a few minutes break, and we will see you back here then.